this episode really made me question Viserys' uh, capacity for logic. All right, House of the Dragon, episode three. Probably my favorite so far. I guess I'm invested now. The dragon scenes at the beginning of this were fantastic. I mean, they really make you feel the reality of a dragon being there. So I got to give them a compliment here. Production is on point. They've wasted no time. We had Game of Thrones to establish what good production for this style of show looks like. And they nailed it. Everybody seems to want Rhaenyra. Why? Because they think that that's their ticket to power. At the same time, a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, why are you breaking all the rules and trying to make a girl your heir? That's never been done before. And this is a source of conflict for much of the episode for King Viserys. And he's wasted no time marrying Alicent and having a child. So that wasn't a huge issue. He got the son he always wanted. And now everybody's sort of point to that going, yeah, that that's how you create an heir. Now you have a son. So we can forget this Rhaenyra stuff. And I don't know why, but he seems compelled to uh, keep his promise to his daughter, who's moody and angry that her friend is her stepmother now and you know, anybody would be, but this episode really made me question Viserys' uh, capacity for logic because <laughs> he's just not thinking straight, and it's all just sort of serving this uh, this plot that's really just, you know, what if we had a girl? That's That's sort of the whole premise of this. And, of course, they establish her as somebody who can hunt with an animal that attacks her, we get uh, Jason Lannister hitting on her and trying to get her to be his wife so that she can rule over Castle Rock with him. And, you know, it's sort of what we predicted in terms of what this series was going to bring. You know, the forebearers and forefathers of the different houses from Game of Thrones. No real surprises there. We see Damon deal with his own ascent to power. He's sort of, sort of taking what he feels is his. There's some good battle scenes. Um, this series is moving along very, very quickly. And I think to contrast it to Game of Thrones, it feels very linear. Um, whereas Game of Thrones, because we were constantly jumping around from house to house to house, country to country, it seemed, there was more to sort of keep you engaged and put the pieces together through the whole series. This, it's very much, just pay attention. And we do have the other Targaryen families, but everything's just sort of Targaryen right now. I don't understand what the fixation Viserys has is on keeping a promise he has to a 16-year-old girl. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. It just, that that strikes me as not terribly realistic or pragmatic for somebody who is supposedly the king, uh, who should be thinking logically. But, you know, it's a show. It's a fantasy. 